Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to what is today going to be a guide on how you can go through and complete the Dauntless quest from Join Forge. And of course, as we've already done it, it's not going to appear in the list here, but you can just imagine it is, and I will load up what it would roughly be looking like. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of requirements you must do, including being level 100, being ranked 10 blacksmithing, but we're interested in the actual items you need to gather and how you can go about doing that. So as we're going to be going through particular farming items, they sort of cross over on what you actually need. So I've tried to total them up the best I can using some brain math power. So if I'm wrong, I do apologise. Anyway, build Malgor's armour set is what we're going to do first. And in order to do this, we need to get the time stream Ravager from Join Deadlines. So that is available in the merge shop and you're going to need some unbound threads. Now, unbound threads are obtained by completing this Fallen Branches quest. It's worth remembering that in total, presuming you're not going to do the quick way on the dragon's tier you're going to need 67 unbound threads so if you're here you might as well stack them up the quest items the temporary ones that drop anyway stack up the times 40 and the boss up the times five so you can just make sure you're maximizing your potential when you're going through these rooms okay a joint ruin crown is where you'll get the shadow flame defender again that's just within the merge shop there is a bit of a theme going on as we go through all of these items and in order to get that you're of course going to need to complete a quest and this one right here is going to be for willpower obviously in total we're going to need a lot more roughly 73 is the number i believe and again they're going to be stacking up times 40 and times 5 for the boss the temporary items that drop so just make sure you're doing that and then you'll be able to turn it in the rooms i'm showing you on screen are where i did all of my farming too so you may just want to mirror what i did just on the basis that i managed to stack the items up relatively quickly and didn't run around each map for ages Mana Guardian is from Join Time Keep, and this one is going to be using Garish Remnants. So, in order to get these, again, you're going to be accepting a quest, would you believe? And it's literally the same style. This one, we're going to need to get a grand total of 95. And annoyingly, the quest item drops are only going to go up to 32 and times 4 for the boss. So, this one will require slightly more turning in, and there are quite a lot to grab. Luckily, all the rooms are next to each other, and one of them does have three mobs in it. Not a huge amount of HP to them. So you should get through this in a relatively reasonable amount of time, but that one can slow you down a little bit. Join Stream War is where we're off to next for the Dark Dragon Slayer. You will also need the Green Dragon Slayer because that is needed in order to actually merge the Dark Dragon Slayer. And then we're mostly here for Prismatic Seams. Presuming you stacked up the previous quest items, you should already have enough willpower and garish remnants in order to get the item needed for this quest. There's a couple different methods you can use to get in prismatic seams, and the way you're going to get them is by these top two quests that you can accept. It is the normal war one, so you can actually just use the quick turn-ins, however sometimes they bug and don't actually reselect them for me. Anyways, you can come along to this room here, where you'll get a mixture of mega medals and normal medals. I would say this is probably slower than the way I'm actually going to show you. The way I did it was if you go along to the boss, just get a group of you there. If everyone's farming these other monsters, just please go along and defeat the boss, because he drops mega medals up to like times 14, 16, around there, and they're on a 50% chance of actually dropping seams when you turn in the mega quest. So that's just worth bearing in mind. Join World's Core is where the merge shop is for the mystical devotee of mana, and we're going to be getting these aqua senses. I think that's how you say it anyway. So again, there is going to be a quest for us to accept, and this one has some slightly higher HP mobs, but nothing too extreme as of the moment. In total, you're going to need 40 aqua senses, so just keep on turning this quest in as much as you can until you get really, really bored and have to change onto a different item, or just do something totally different if you want to play a different game. I don't know. Anyway, we're sidetracking. So once you've been through, defeated those elementals, defeated the boss you can head back turn that quest in and then we can move on to the dragon's tier so the dragon's tier we have two ways of doing it again if you've been stacking up all the items you should have most of these by now and then you'll need 40 elemental cores to add on top like i say there is a shortcut method to doing this well, I say shortcut, it's one that inquires a horrible weekly quest that I'm sure many of you may have done a few times already. But let's talk about these elemental cores. So join Mana Cradle is where we'll be getting them and you want to come along and you're going to need to defeat these tainted mana dark elemental folk. In total, the elemental cores needed are going to be times 60 because we will need them to merge another item in a minute as well. While you're coming through here, there is another very important note to make. One of the bosses you're going to need to be defeating here is Malgor. 
Malgor. Now, if at any point Malgor drops a certain sword which goes by the name of the Shadow Flame Dragon Blade, accept it. You will need that in a merge again slightly later in the video. So please do accept that item and do not bin it off. And then obviously the last monster to complete the quest we're currently on will be the Mind You right there. So, the Dragon's Tear, if you wanted to do it the other way, you can also trade in 10 Malgor Insignias and then you can just straight up get it. The next map we're joining to is Fire Avatar for the Infernal Flame Pyromancer. So worth checking if case you've already farmed for this in the past, if it's in your bank or maybe in your buyback. But you will need 20 Tindarus Insignias in order to turn this one in. As well, of course, as doing yet another quest. And this one is going to need 75 of the items in order to merge for that Infernal Flame Pyromancer. So it didn't actually take me overly long to go through and do all of that. I kind of just stayed around Elias and went to these two rooms that you can see on screen. And as we said, if you have no idea how to get Tindarius Insignias, it's Ultra Tindarius. And then it is this daily quest that you're able to complete. For times two, you will need 30 in total of those because you also need one to turn the actual quest in. So, join Ultra Speaker, and once you're here, you need to be getting the Malgor's Shadow Flame Blade. This is going to need 20 Malgor Insignias. You will need 25 in total to complete Dauntless, so worth bearing in mind. The Shadow Flame Dragon Blade we spoke of earlier, and 20 Elemental Cores, which hopefully you pre-farmed earlier on. You can come along to Shadow Grove and defeat the Titan Shadow if you didn't manage to get the item earlier from Malgor. So, again, that could just speed it up a little bit if you were struggling to get it. I actually did get it from that. Shadow Grove map, so that was my preference. And again, if you're unsure of Malgor Insignias, it's over at Ultra Speaker. You complete this quest and you go along and defeat this horrible Ultra Boss. But once you've done that, you can head back and you can turn all of this in. Like I said, you will need 10 extra Tindarius Insignias and 5 Malgor ones, and then you should hopefully by this point have all of those pre requirements right at the start of the quest. So, folks, as always, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like and, of course, subscribe. And if you just completed the quest, congratulations and enjoy your Dauntless.